Happy Thursday, folks. It is uh, May 2nd, 1115, and uh, I've gone ahead and started on that. I've already cut material and stuff, and I began to, I'm beginning to uh, put this together. This is uh, made to resemble the end of the little boat dock. And uh, a uh, friend of mine from high school, she's got a uh, little photography studio, and she had this idea of... Uh, having a boat dock uh, prop where she can put a put somebody on take pictures of them make them look like they're fishing and uh, it's made with landscape timbers and some some pallet wood and some leftover uh, leftover uh, cedar I had from our kitchen island and uh, when I get all that put together I'll see if I if there's any anything I need to do to reinforce um, I don't want it wobbling and I don't want a child to get hurt on it that's that's for sure and especially since my reputation is, is going into this build so I want it to be good anyhow uh, this is the first uh, uh, first update on this uh, particular item um, I'm gonna have to I've got some more pallets that has that particular type of wood on it and I'll have to uh, knock some loose so um, I probably won't get back on this until uh, Saturday. Anyhow, uh, when I get some more progress made, I will uh, bring you back and let you have a look at it. Well, good morning, folks. I've got the, uh, I've got four slats already screwed down. I got the last two cut, get ready to drill and screw those down. And the overall build for this uh, little boat dock bench is uh, going to be complete, except for putting the rope around the the tops of these uh, landscape timbers. But what I used to space the uh, the boards apart was the uh, just the uh, head of that screw. And it turned out pretty good. I didn't have to do any excessive trimming or anything like that. I mean, I might, I might knock the edge off of that once I get it down. But uh, should have this ready to be delivered tomorrow. And then on to the next project. She's got a little what looks like a doll bed that she wants me to build so I'll give that a try and see how that turns out that's going to require some scroll work so I'm really not sure how to price that uh, I've got a a friend up in Wisconsin I can consult with so we'll kind of go from there anyhow I'm going to finish up and I'll bring you back when it's done All right, it had a little bit of a rock back and forth. And uh, I wanted to make sure that that bottom base was stable. So that's what I come up with. Trying to keep it as minimal as possible because we don't want to draw a lot of attention to, uh, a lot of attention to it. But it, uh, it has worked. It is extremely solid now. So that's what I that's what I had in mind. Like I said, she's gonna have children on this and stuff taking photographs and I, I don't want this thing to come apart on her. So anyway, the uh, overall build is now done. I just need to to wrap the tops of the uh landscape timbers with some rope to kind of give it that uh, boat dock look and uh, call this one done. I'll bring you back when I have that rope on there. It's going to be kind of cool. All right, I just finished running my uh grinder over the top of that to kind of knock some of that dirt stuff off that pallet wood 
Now that thing looks like a boat dock. Piece. Section. Whatever. Anyway. Like I said, all I got to do now is uh, wrap that rope around it. So, got to get the rope. Should have this done tomorrow. Well, good afternoon. Saturday afternoon, right after 12 noon, the uh, they tested the tornado sirens again around here. I call that the beer whistle. Anyway, it's 12 noon, so now everybody can have a beer. I'm fixing to wrap. Start up here, and then I got a mark right there. That's the uh, that's how uh, wide I'm going to do the rope band. I've got uh, four of them to do. So I'm going to get that going, and I'll bring you back as soon as I get some progress made. We're almost done, folks. All right, there's the first one wrapped. Took about an hour to do that. Because I'm just you know trying to make it look nice. So I got uh, three more to go. And then... Uh, this one will be ready ready for pickup or delivery. I'm not sure if we're going to meet or what we're, we're going to do, but anywho, back to work. Here it is. We got this finished. Got all the rope put on there to kind of decorate it. And then when she gets it into her photography studio, I'm sure she'll put a lantern on it or fishing poles or maybe a, a fish basket or whatever. But uh, that's kind of neat. That gives me some ideas later on. Anybody here locally want one of them? 150 bucks and I will build you one. Be just like that. That's just neat. It took more time to wrap that rope around it than it did to build the the bench. But that's going in a photography studio, and uh, I hope that she's able to uh, generate a lot of income with it. It's going to bring a close to this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it, and by all means, subscribe. we got to get this channel rolling. So you guys have a great weekend, and I will catch you guys on the next video. One final thing I'm going to do. You see how that jute and all them little stragglers? And what I've been doing, I went and got that blowtorch. You can see that I've been burning some of that off. Kind of blackens it in some areas. And it gets rid of that deal. And the way that will work, give myself a little flame on there. You just kind of hit it. And that will burn all them little uh, burn all them little hair or jute hairs or whatever clears all that off oh. and cleans it up pretty good yeah I might as well turn that off now I think I think that'll work and now after my 
didn't mean to jump back in here after I had given my uh, give it a thumbs up and like the video and blah 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 speech. Now you can apply all that. Anyway, just wanted to share one other thing to show you how to get rid of all them little uh, pieces of juice sticking up all over the place. Try cleans it up, gives it kind of a it darkens it a little bit. Anyhow. Okay, now we're done. You guys have a great weekend. See you on the next video.